Hey, what's going on guys? This is Stainville, and this is a gameplay of CTF Lockdown. It's a competitive scrim. In case you guys missed my last video, I mentioned that I was going to be releasing videos kind of tracking my progress as I get back into competitive gaming, kind of ease my way back into things. So this is one of my more recent scrims. Um, I'm playing with Skump, Too Quick, and Karma. And we're not playing against a full team. We're playing against, I believe, half of GZ, which is Saints and Fake Assassin. And I believe the other two players are half of Phase, which would be Nameless and Spacely. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, it, it hasn't been easy, especially not knowing callouts and uh, not knowing spawns. Like, like I, as much as I would like to, I guess. I know some of the spawn points from the first, you know, two months of the game where I played, but I, I really didn't take this game that serious, so I'm kind of learning everything from scratch. I've had a lot of players that, you know, kind of offer to help me, like, do you need to know callouts, or do you need to know, you know, the spawns, and I, I really want to get a feel for the game again before I hop back into it. I want to, you know, get the feeling as if, um, you know, the game just came out for me. That's that's kind of the, the feeling I'm getting. I feel like I'm learning everything from scratch, and it feels like everyone just got the game early before it came out. Um, I, I've played a lot of pickups, and, you know, they're not what they used to be from the pickups I've been in. it's It seems like no one wants to pull flag. Everyone's allergic to flag. And I, I know I've mentioned before, you know, to, to people that are trying to slay, you know, what perk to use um, as far as extreme conditioning or sleight of hand. I've, I've said sleight of hand and, you know, I make the joke that, you know, if you're a slayer, there's really no reason to move. And I regret ever saying that because it is the most frustrating thing playing pickups on MW3 when everyone is just trying to slay. Like, y y your team could be winning by by 30 kills and no one will pull the flag. It's like, everyone is just against it. Like, it's TDM, competitive TDM with spawn points that are, you know, set in stone. So, I mean, uh, on that aspect of the game, I'm really not enjoying it too much. Um, I'm really thinking about maybe, I don't know, putting together a montage of me returning because since I've I've come back, I, I've been getting, I wouldn't say a ton of clips, but here and there the clips are starting to flow in as I pick up the game and, you know, learn the spawns and those three pieces and four pieces are slowly starting to form. Um, and, and flow. Um, like, yeah, but I had a question for you guys. When, when you guys are, you know, picking up a game, how do you learn it? Like, do you, you know, do you learn by not playing against pro players and just scrim all day? Do you, do you play pickups and that helps you improve? Or do you like playing GBs? Like, what helps you as a gamer, I guess, improve your game? Game skill. I'm not. I'm not asking so that I get advice. Although you guys might have some some stuff I've never thought of, but I'm just curious as to you know how you guys learn the game because I we all learn our our own way and we all pick up the game at our own speed. And I I have an advantage coming in. You know I've played Call of Duty before. I've competed for four years, uh, at least four seasons, two seasons of Call of Duty four, and uh, a season of MW two and a season of Black Ops. So. I kind of have a you know four years under my belt, and I kind of understand at least how the pro players play, how they think, and I don't think that's something that will ever go away. Um, that's something I have an advantage on compared to you know the average amateur playing player that's you know just trying to get into the game. So yeah, how do you guys you know pick up a game? What what you know what ways do you use to improve your gameplay? I'll tell you guys one way I I used to use in Black Ops too. And I'm not sure if I'll really use it in this game because I don't take it that serious. But um, th did I say Black Ops 2? I, mean, I meant Black Ops 2, like as in I use this as a tactic too. But once Black Ops 2 releases, I, I know I will be using this a lot. So as a Slayer, it's really important to stay alive. And um, you, you want to get yourself in positions in, in CTF to where you can pin the other team down um, away from their flag and allow your objective player to freely, you know, roam around the map and get those pulls without taking stuns or nades or, you know, taking shots from the enemy player. And when you die, you know, that's seven and a half seconds of respawn plus 
uh, running back towards the opposite position of the map from where you spawn so you can get back in that position. Plus, you're going to have to fight gunfights and everything else. So every time you die, you're really hurting your team. And whenever you get on a streak and you get flags relayed, it's really, you know, that your objective players love that. They don't love when you die. So something I used to do um, at the very beginning of Black Ops is when we were done scrimming for the day or playing GBs, uh, mainly scrimming or playing tournaments like 360 Icons. If you guys don't know what that is, go ahead and check that out. Uh, I believe they're going to be hosting a lot more tournaments, uh, which is also a good thing, you know, for the community. But whenever I, I would be done for the day and my team got off, I would go ahead and go in theater and I had all the games that, you know, we scrimmed outside of pubs and stuff. I, I knew which games were which and which games were against good teams. At the time, we only played against good teams because that, that's how you really learn. Uh, I think you can learn from the best. So if you're constantly put up against pro players and top players, I think you adapt pretty quickly. Or at least most players do. And you, you kind of learn from them. So I think it can only help you by playing top players. But what I did is whenever I would, this may sound like either really nerdy or really time consuming, but I would kind of scroll through each of the gameplays. Um, I was doing two things. One, I was paying attention to my gameplay. Well, I guess three things. I was looking for clips as well for my montage. And the last thing I was doing is whenever I would die, um, when I was in a position to, you know, get kills, I would pause the gameplay switch over to whatever enemy killed me and rewatch that same gunfight from their position. And it's kind of learning, um, I guess, how to counter line of sights or how to not put yourself into the same position twice. Because one of the most frustrating things for me is if I die by a player, uh, I, I think I adapt pretty well. If I die by a player, let's say an S and D, if we're playing a team and I die by something I haven't seen before or something I'm not used to or just something the other player is good at, I'm going to try to counter that m to my best ability the, f the very following round just so I can shut them down and, you know, give my team a one-up. And I think that's something I use the theater for as well because the next time we scrim those players or play against them in the tournament, you get to see how they play and the moves they make and kind of the, the positions they go to. So if you see the angles they have on you, you know how to better put yourself into a position and defend yourself a little bit better um, to kind of counter it. So I think countering positions in Call of Duty is really important because you, you can't win every gunfight, you can't win every game. And when you lose position and you allow the enemy player to get into a power spot, um, it can be really you know devastating for your team because you can give up many flags just trying to regain map control. So... That's something I used before and something I plan on using when Black Ops comes out. And I, I just can't wait for Black Ops. I've been seeing a lot um, of videos on YouTube. I mean, they're not multiplayer. I, I haven't really found any of that. But just looking at the game itself and hearing you know, all the support from the developers, I'm really, really excited to get back in and start competing again. And this combine we just hosted and seeing, you know, how many players are, are really into competitive and, you know, all the heart they have for the game and they really just want to make it. And even that video that Hastro put together of the combine, it just makes me want to play that much more. So, yeah, I'm really going to be looking forward to uh, adapting and kind of easing my way back into the competitive side of things. I'm not sure just yet if I'll, you know, end up being on a team before the end of this game and playing tournaments. If I, you know, get to the level I used to be at or pretty close, then I will. Of course, I would love to be there again, but I, I just don't know if I have the motivation with this game being MW3. I'm forcing myself to play currently just because I'm trying to catch up with everybody else as I've took, uh, I guess, an extended break. And I think vacation time is over and it's time to get back into the game. I will be streaming once um, once I feel it's it's time for that. Uh, to be honest, I'm really just waiting for my other internet connection to come back. It, it's out right now, and uh, the speed of our upload isn't that high on the connection that we're on right now. So when you're uploading, it kind of affects the connection for playing for everyone else in the house and YouTube videos and stuff like that. So once our connection's back, I will be streaming a lot. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to get back into everything. So streaming, playing, the whole nine yards. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoy these videos I release as I kind of update my progress of how things are going. 
any crazy gameplays I get, I will make sure to upload for you guys. Uh, it, it took a little bit before I got my 30 bomb, but I was capable of getting one. I know the video I uploaded last, I got 40 kills, but they weren't against pro players. Nothing against those guys, it's just pro players play a little bit different, and it's it's 10 times harder to you know, get 30, 40 kills against them. But yeah, this is Stainville, and I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.